go near my building and getting some of the Christmas tree lights. So I didn't think of in uh, last year was getting the uh, Christmas tree lights of the different houses and everything that was nearby in my neighborhood. So you can see a white tree over there. So we'll see what else I can find. Sean's neighborhood at night before. There's another one, warmer white, cooler white. But yes, I mean, I did Sean's neighborhood at early dawn. I think that was the beginning of October. That was now two months ago. So I've, and I, as I was driving here today, I realized that there were Christmas tree lights along the way once I turned onto my main road, so I figured I would get a video of them. Like the lights along the fence there. Well, here we go, see? So there's light along the pink in the house. There's a uh, light over there on that house. And there's light along the fence here. And I'll get pictures along the way until we find out which one is the best thumbnail for the whole experience. So there's the fence light. And there's the house with its lights. So let's see. Oh, well, here's the deer and everything in front of the house. There you go. <laughs> okay, not much else down that road. So we'd have to go up the other road, up over there. Ah, there's some more lights. Warm white lights that look orange from that angle. Here we are in Claremont. You can see a few small Christmas tree lights here with the street light. Mostly along the top of the house, these ones are. And I think I see something approaching on the far right. You can see it ahead of me over there. So I'll get more when I get closer. And that'll be the video for Friday, December 8th. Although it's going to have to be... No, it's not going to have to be uploaded on the 7th. I'm not traveling until the 15th. So it can be uploaded on Friday the 8th, just like, uh, just like normal. That's good. Well, there's something on both sides, you see. The one house on our left has a reindeer with a uh, cool white reindeer, you see, with the red light. And the one on the right has the... Uh, light that changes color and see well you got both houses actually but there is a good view of the other one there blue purple light purple red green almost the same colors as the uh, lightsaber changes to actually and that's about all for now. We'll see what more I can find. Not every place has lights, but you can see one there. I didn't think of doing this last year, getting uh, pictures of the lights from Sean's neighborhood. But you know, it's the best way to do it is at night, when you don't see much identifying of the house. So It's just the lights themselves, so that's quite good. Alright, so I'll go up to the cross street and see if there's anything more to find. Well, actually I see something coming up on the left. It's the middle house that you can see on your screen. Well, now we've got more snow for the uh, Sean's travels video in Sean's neighborhood. I have more room on the cell phone now since the uh, The video screen 
shot film got moved to Dropbox, so it doesn't need to be on the phone anymore. And so I'll just take the same walk I did last night. You can see that beautiful house from a different angle this time. Oh, and look, more lights that I didn't see last time. Look, see, in the distance. I'll crop that photo later. But this time I'm going to go up uh, Claremont Drive and uh, get all the lights from that angle. And since it's warm enough, I don't think my hands are going to get too cold. So I can put the gloves in the bag. And here's those, uh, the two white lights again from last night. There's the better picture. See you soon. Bye-bye. So now I'm going to turn onto the street, which is actually an extension of Frontenac, and get the uh, Christmas tree lights on this road, which is what I missed last night because the phone ran out of room. And I've got my digital camera in my other pocket, so hopefully it'll be adjusted for nighttime viewing. So we'll just see what we see. I can see something in the distance right now. This is the same road I take, by the way, to, when I go to pick up my lottery tickets. And this will be part one of the Christmas tree lights in Sean's neighborhood because there's still Thomas Street and the other part of Frontenac Drive. So I can wait and do it week by week in this month of December and that should take me all the way up to Christmas. See, you can see the white lights on that one. And this one, they were very literal with the Christmas tree light colors, just the red and green. And then you can see the colored street up here, which is Probably the Greenwood one. I'll wait till I'm a little closer to get that photo. There, it should be close enough by now, and you can see on the phone it's a beautiful glow. There you go. And the colored lights over there in the distance, if I can zoom in enough. Oh, and you get the wagon wheel in the background. That's even better. And just before the car gets in the way... There. Here's another house over here. The, uh, oh yes, the Mary, Joseph, and Jesus one. See? That's beautiful. Seems to be quite a theme on this street, as you can see. The uh, soft, warm, white lights all the way along. And of course, the little, little loop has all the uh, the colors in here, see? There you go, there's a good wide-angle shot of it all. We'll see which one ends up being the thumbnail. That's why I take photos while I'm filming the video. You don't want to do clickbait where you take a picture that wasn't actually within the video. Even if it was at the very end, as you'll see in the uh, next week's um, Enchanted Forest Park video. Let's see, there you go. All the colors and the candy cane. I remember that from last night. There, beautiful. <clears throat> oh, and there's another one over there. Now you can see the different sizes of the bulbs. You can see the, uh... oh wait, that's Baby Yoda. Look. Baby Yoda. I'll maybe zoom in on him for the thumbnail. Then you don't see any of the house. That's even better. And look, look at that one. So gorgeous. Mm -hmm. There's certainly a lot on this street. What I'll do is I'll go along this front neck all the way through the loop and come back on the Avon Road. Now here's a nice wide angle view. There. Because you can see one half of the duplex on the far left had lights on, but the other half didn't. It's so beautiful. And look at that beautiful snow and everything. Got to make sure when I'm walking I hold the uh, camera up so you don't just see my feet. Oh, that's gorgeous. So beautiful. 
one of these days when I have a, a house, even if it's a rented house on the base, if it has railings on the balcony, I will do exactly what I did at Cold Lake. I will loop the uh, lights along the railing and then have them underneath the uh, front door. Now they were... And that reminds me, I should uh, probably include some of those video pictures, some of those pictures, from my Cold Lake days of the Christmas lights at my own PMQ. So I'm going to stop the video here after I get this picture, and that way I'll know exactly where to splice in those photos, and then we'll carry on. See you soon. So I'm back. By now you've seen the pictures I spliced in of my Christmas tree lights. And of course, there was a YouTube short I did of Christmas tree lights uh, at my Cold Lake area. Look, there's a uh, kind of a beach-themed Santa there. There you go. But anyway, you saw the pictures. And you saw the video, so that's uh, really good. It's really working. <coughs> yeah, there's another one past the stop sign. The red, blue, and green. Of course, the colors don't seem. Sometimes they don't seem as bright on my phone as they are on the real life, but I'm trying to focus on that house as I walk by because you can see the light color pattern changing. And you can see all the way down the street here, so I'll do more when I get closer. My hands are getting cold, so I'll be back. I hope that the, uh, the street actually does go around. I'm trying to take pictures of the Christmas tree lights on houses where the blinds are shut so that you can't, you know, you can't see inside the house, privacy and all that. Just get the outside. So far it's working. And there is a beautiful, uh, there's a beautiful tree. See? Oh, look, there's another Santa thing. There we go, some more on the loop. Oh, look, there's Baby Yoda again. There he is. And a beautiful tree. So Baby Yoda, Randy, Rudolph, and Santa, that one was. Yeah, that's a really good idea. Now here's something else. A, uh, I don't know what that is. If it is some kind of dog, it kind of fell over. See? Beautiful. Oh no, it's upright. It's a dinosaur. That's what it is. So gorgeous, really. And there's another kind of candy cane themed house. If you can see that. There. Good. And there's not much else on this stretch of the street, so there's a rival stop again and take a little get the hands warmer break. And still aren't quite that warm, but here's Highland Crescent. And you can see some of the beautiful lights along here. So I'll edit this video throughout the week and uh, we'll continue once I splice it all together. This will be Christmas tree lights in Sean's neighborhood. Yeah. So there is the house on the left. Stand still. You can see the uh, window hue of the lights changing there. And then the uh, Houses on the right are coming up, complete with a little snowman, as you can see from here and the beautiful orange light on camera. It isn't that orange in real life. 
Oh, and we're getting closer to something, so I'll just uh, circle around Highland Crescent. That should be enough. Shouldn't have to do much more. There's the uh, two trees flanking the entranceway of that house. And there you go. There's that house. Beautiful red view. <coughs> and as I round the corner, you're going to see all kinds of lights. I hope they turn them off before they go to sleep because you'd never get to sleep with all those lights going off and on. I can tell you that. And that all seems to be located on one house's property too. Look at that. So that's the distance view. I'll get up close and get the real view in just a moment. I mean, they have everyone. Here we go. So there's a picture. <laughs> That's quite something. You can hear the solo slow hum of all their gear. Now, can I... Here, there's a wide enough angle to get everything in there. Beautiful. And I'll get another view pointing back the other way as I round the corner to get home. Ah, there you go. That's probably a thumbnail. And you see the beautiful orange warm lights. Yep. And, and look, remember when I talked about balcony railing lights? Well, you can see that on that house there. So that's exactly what I did in Cold Lake. And you'll see that between the first and the second parts of this video. So I round the corner and I see a couple more sets of lights. Now it'll be time to go in. Remember, this is only uh, part one of the Christmas tree lights. So at least be another part of Sean's neighborhood. That'll be the Thomas Street area. And hopefully that'll be on a milder night. Oh, we're getting close, so there you go, then the beautiful juxtaposition with the orange lighted house right next to it. Ah, so beautiful. There you go. Beautiful. That way you don't get the person, because I saw the person in the window, so I said, well, don't put the person in the window in the video. Just get the lights. Like the beautiful red lights here, or the beautiful warm lights there. Or the beautiful blue lights on that above the truck there. So I got that. So just get beyond the stop sign and should be able to get the two homes in a row. There. Yeah, and that's about it for Sean's neighborhood and all the Christmas tree lights for this evening. This is uh, Sunday, December 3rd, so we'll see you here next time for part two, the Thomas Street Lights. Bye-bye.